Hello, I'm Dr. David Hornbrook, the Clinical Director of Education and Technology here at Keating Dental Arts in Irvine, California. I want to show you something we're very excited about, and that's our new KDZ Bruxer Aesthetic. The fact that it's a KDZ Bruxer means it's strong. In fact, the flexural strength is about five to six times that of Empress and about three to four times that of Emacs. So it's an incredibly strong material. Originally, when the KDZ Bruxer or the monolithic zirconia crown came out, the advantage was it was metal free, but it was very, very opaque. So we kind of limited it to the back of the mouth. And we know there's a direct correlation between the vitality of a restoration and the amount of translucency. So I'm going to show something very cool with this new aesthetic material. This is a little box. This really originally was designed for Procera from Noble BioCare. And the design was, it has these little LEDs, as you can see, little rubber tissue. And the goal was to put a porcelain fused and metal crown where we see here. You put it over that LED, and then you would take a Procera and you'd stick it on top of that LED. When you lit it up, you would say, wow, light comes through the Procera, not through the PFM. Well, we don't use Procera anymore, but we are using Zirconia. This is one of our new KDZ aesthetic material. I'm going to go ahead and put this on this LED. It's the exact same thickness as the PFM. We're going to go ahead and light it up. I mean, look at that. I mean, here we have a porcelain infused metal crown, and we've all seen it in our practice where light hits it and it just bounces back, and we have that dark gingival third by the root. And you can see no light as the LED penetrates through that metal. Look at the aesthetic material. Again, this material is two times stronger than Emacs, three times stronger than Empress. The porcelain on the edge, because this is monolithic, it's just been stained. The incisal edge material, the material that's going to go under stress and possibly fracture, is six to eight times stronger than the porcelain of PFM. Very cool. It's going to look better and it's stronger. Very excited about it. Now, let me show you something else that's cool about this is let's say we have a dark tooth. So let's say we have a tooth. This would be our crown preparation. This would be our, our preparation. Let's say it was a C4, a dark prep. This could be a root canal treated tooth. It could be a traumatized tooth. It could just be dark dentin. Typically, what we would do is we would either put metal on the inside, like I showed you that porcelain infused metal crown, and then we build ceramic on top of it. The problem is, as we just saw, light does not penetrate through that metal. So as light hits the surface, it just kind of dies and doesn't bounce back. Our goal, just like natural enamel, natural enamel, light penetrates through the enamel, which is typically about a millimeter thick, hits the dentin, and then reflects, reflects and refracts back through the enamel, which gives it its vitality. So we want this to be as translucent as possible. Our older zirconia materials, monolithic, was opaque all the way through. So light hit it and it just died. No vitality. So our new material, our aesthetic material, has translucency all the way through. Now that's great if you have a nice shaded prep. But if it's C5, it's not a nice shaded prep. So how do we cheat? It's very cool. What we do here is instead of making this opaque, we put actually a very thin, it's negligible. In fact, it's not even as thick as a die spacer. We put a very thin layer of this white neutralizer on the inside of the zirconia. So we're able to neutralize the effect of the C4. Very cool. And we're able to get the full thickness, whether it be one to two millimeter, depending on what the crown prep is, of this translucent enamel. So the tooth is alive and vital. Hope you're excited about this new KDZ material as I am. Again, it's the aesthetic material. It's totally different than the zirconia you've ever seen in the past. It's new high translucency. It's strong. It's beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you'll consider using the new aesthetic material in your next case.